90% of young people here in this community that are unemployed, a rapid expansion in available jobs is absolutely critical. But even those lucky enough to find work are far from accessing decent employment. Those getting jobs in nearby factories and workshops work long and gruelling hours in often hazardous environments and on insecure contracts. Wages are low, around 35 to 40 pounds per month on average. Often wages aren't paid in time or paid fully. So it's no surprise then that most young people aspire to starting small businesses as a way of avoiding these exploitative working relationships. But we have to be really careful when we think of entrepreneurship as a magic bullet to solve youth poverty. The reality is most young people can't accumulate enough capital to start businesses large enough to provide a decent income. Many youth lack the skills and business acumen they need to start successful small businesses, particularly when we're talking about a market characterised by fierce competition and an environment in which small businesses are starting and failing on a near daily basis. The goal of achieving decent work for all, including young people, is one that we absolutely must work towards. But we mustn't underestimate the scale and the complexity of the youth employment problem. Reaching these goals is not simply a matter of providing young people with better skills, knowledge or access to capital that they need, nor is it simply a matter of changing attitudes and behaviours, as many would commonly claim. These efforts, while essential, on their own are not enough to tackle the underlying structural constraints that mean up to now economic growth in Tanzania has not led to higher rates of poverty reduction in communities like these. Job creation in the sector accessible to young people is absolutely essential. That includes services, industry and communications amongst others. Young people have to be able to access wage employment in these sectors on fair and secure terms. They must also be able to start small businesses without fear of losing assets or savings that they've invested through harassment from local authorities. It's only through these longer term structural improvements that youth development programmes aiming to improve education, employment and entrepreneurship can really start to pay off at greater scale. Helping young people to take advantage of new opportunities that are created, to better plan for their futures and above all to start realising their hopes and aspirations.